What we're looking at here is uh, iniquity established and set up by uh, Lucifer, the fallen angel. So it's just a quick map, and I'm going to point through all the components and how the devil works through the machinations of man in this heart. So we have the record of the mother of all harlots, the mother of all um, prostitutes, all those who sell out the truth for a lie. And the mother of that, all those groups, all those bodies, it's the Roman Catholic Church. The synagogue of Satan, and I've put the horns on there to represent Satan's church, are all those who are behind all the wickedness in the world, the shadow, the shadow underworld, the shadow governments, infiltrated shadow governments, infiltrated commerce bodies, education, military, politics, the whole world all the uh, Trilateral Commission, all the Illuminati, all, all, all of that is below the uh, Synagogue of Satan. It's in the control of that body and that body is behind the mother of all harlots. And through the Jesuits they established the Illuminati and Freemasonry, infiltrated Freemasonry and through that that um, set up from the top you know these people don't go from level one two three four five up and all through the they start at the top and then they raise up people in their setup so they have uh, access to penetrate all bodies that raise up naturally on the earth and monopolize them and join them up and yoke them to this harlot and this is Mammon. So we know today that through the Freemasonic craft and the Jesuits and all the avenues of the leadership, and because they all they all look up and worship the man above them, so they do as they're told because that's the way they're raised. That's the way it's set up. Lie upon lie upon lie upon lie, and it's a uh, deception. So down the ranks, they've infiltrated the Mormon Church. They've infiltrated the Seven Day Adventists. They've infiltrated the Jehovah's Witnesses. They've inf infiltrated all the organised religious groups, organised religious uh, bodies and hierarchies. They they're in it, and they do that through the leadership, and they put their leadership in. If we look here to demonstrate how they work from the top down through their systems and they have their little men in there so if you've got the Mormon church you've got the 12 apostles uh, roughly a third of them will be in the conspiracy and they will and they will allow people that really believe it or who who come to find out it's not true and they find out themselves compromised with their head in the noose and the, once the hood's removed off their head, they realise that they're trapped in this evil body of people and they're too frightened to say anything, so they're stuck in their little pit. And this is how they control all these main bodies from the top down. And then they raise up these deceptions. This is called iniquity. It's the infiltration of the cults, it's infiltration of the churches, it's infiltration of all things that they want to control. This represents the Holy Spirit whole putting the brake on the, the mystery of iniquity. This is the mystery of iniquity, how Satan works through the machinations of what's in men's heart and what's been established over time. The Lord has got his foot on the brake. Here's the devil pulling the cart of iniquity always at work, always pulling that towards the end goal. What's the end goal? To kill all the Jews and to, you know, Satan wants to be, he wants to dethrone God. So that's his mission. The Lord's already beat Satan on the cross and it's rolling out. So iniquity has to continue and it will continue and men will follow that iniquity because it's set up and yoked so they, they go with how it's established because it's dominant, because it's Satan. Satan's at the top, not man. Satan's at the top, 
they're all deceived by Satan, they're all yoked to Satan, they're all compromised. So it raises up the whole world in this iniquitous lumps, these spikes and unjust, you know, injustice. And the Lord's holding it back and he judges it bit by bit. He's put the brake on because he knows that it, it's not going to stop. So one day the Lord's going to remove the brake and he's going to allow this to dominate. He's going to allow this to... He's going to allow that to be governor of the world. And once that's gone, there's nothing anyone on this planet can do to stop that. So that's a basic map of iniquity, the mystery of iniquity. And I'll leave that for you to study in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.